We'll get so much. It'll be amazing what we can do for our country. We don't want dangerous criminal aliens roaming free in North Carolina. We want to take care of it. This state should be a sanctuary for law-abiding Americans, not for criminal aliens. Our great Republican candidate, Dan Bishop, will fight with everything he has to stop sanctuary cities and defend the people of this great state. Dan, come on up. Dan Bishop, everyone, get out and vote. Come on up, Dan. Hello, North Carolina. Hello, Fayetteville. Hello, 9th District of North Carolina. Mr. President, we're not tired of winning. We want to keep on winning. And tomorrow, Tuesday, September 10, 2019, we're going to win the 9th District of North Carolina. We've all watched as the Democratic Party The Socialist Democrat Party <laughs> seeks the president's destruction every day. We've seen a dishonest media. <laughs> serve as their handmaidens and their allies in that mission. We've watched as the greatest fighter ever to occupy the White House has pushed them all off. <laughs> Mr. President, you don't need Mr. President, you don't need North Carolina, the 9th District. You got someone? All right. Got someone heated over here. Give them some space. We need a doctor. A doctor in the house, please. Doctor, please. Doctor in the house, thank you.
Take your time, please. Take your time. We have plenty of time. Thank you. Take your time. Sorry. Thank you, doctor. Take your time. People have been staying outside for two days to get in, so this happens. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Doing better? Good. That's good. That's good. That's great. That's really great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's really great. Thank you very much. I guess Dan's speech wasn't so good. <laughs> what do you think? That's great. Thank you very much. Great job. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, law enforcement. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I trust that person will be okay. Let's all say a prayer for that person. Make sure they're right. Yeah. Because that's what we do. We pray. And I share your values. I'm not ashamed of your values. I'm going to defend your values in Washington, D.C. As this great fighter faces all those long odds, the Socialist Democrats, the fake media, the last thing he needs is for the 9th District to send him another Nancy Pelosi clone. President Trump needs nobody else in Washington who supports sanctuary cities and counties here in North Carolina or anywhere else. What's going to happen tomorrow on Tuesday, September 10, is the 9th District is going to send a congressman with backbone who can stand up to the smears and the lies of the lying fake news media and support the President of the United States as he keeps America great. And what I need you to do, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, I need you to vote. I need you to vote. But that's not all. I need you to vote. But beyond that, take a lesson from President Donald J. Trump. Don't rely on them to get our message out. 
Take out your phone. Go to votedanbishop.com. I'm going to repeat that. Go to votedanbishop.com. And right there at the top of that website, you're going to see a video featuring the President of the United States telling you to vote for right Dan, not wrong Dan. And right below that video, that little frame, you're going to see a button, three buttons to share that video. And you don't have to rely on that news media. You can use those buttons and send that out to all of your friends on Facebook, on Twitter, on email, so they'll know that President Trump can have a fighter for the values of the 9th District in Washington, D.C. Tomorrow's our chance. Let's tell them. Let's show them. Go out and vote for Right Dan. Vote for Dan Bishop tomorrow, September 10. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, President Trump. Thank you, Dan. That was a good job. That was a good job. He means it, too. He's great. Get out and vote tomorrow for Dan Bishop, please. So we've had great support over the last six months in particular from a man who happens to be your senator right now. And we need him to keep going because he has been fantastic. And I believe he's here tonight. I just came in. The weather wasn't so great to be traveling today. They said maybe we could